Hey everyone, Professor Snart with a quick, <coughs> excuse me, a quick check and I'm losing my voice from all the videos I've been doing lately. Um, I have uh, graded and provided some comments on everybody's essay, I think, um, from Unit uh, 7, Essay 1. Um, so the things to look for are, like I mentioned before, um, the grade, obviously, the number, um, the file that I've returned to you, which should have various highlighting and comments in it. On rare occasions, I sometimes do that and then it doesn't save correctly or I haven't saved it before I send it back. So if you get an, a document back and it's basically just your essay but with no comments in it or no highlighting or nothing, I just sent the wrong document. So let me know and I'll be sure to send the right one. Either way though, um, the most helpful, hopefully, piece of feedback that you'll be getting is you'll see in the, the grading area a link to a video which is basically just me looking at your essay and kind of talking you through it and um, it'll have all of the highlighting and notes and any little comments that I've made in the in the, in the file you can watch that like on the video and listen to me talking through it so be sure you attend to all those pieces of feedback the grade being important obviously but really the least helpful in terms of moving forward um, so clearly for SA2, Unit 8, which we're looking at, now you really want to make sure that you're not making the same mistakes and you're taking the opportunity to make you know, substantial revisions if they're required based on feedback um, from Unit 1. But like I said before, um, Unit 8 is fundamentally focused not so much on just revising things from the first essay, but on building in um, use of a secondary source. So remember, you're using the databases, not just general web stuff. Use the databases like we've used them before. Go in and simply search for articles about your particular short story. Don't search for the, the exact theme or the exact character, or which is too narrow, or just like general author information or unrelated stuff, which is too broad. What you want to do is find articles that address your particular story and then find comments or um, interpretation from those articles that, um, that you can then weave into your essay and kind of make them fit um, in your particular thesis and your particular interpretation. So that's the work that you really have in front of you is finding the uh, material but also reading it effectively and integrating it effectively into your essay. Um, so I'm just looking at Unit 8 then. It's all hopefully laid out pretty clearly. Um, and then just clicking into Due Dates. Uh, we, we then have, let's see, it's uh, uh, Unit 8, SA2, is due Monday, um, Feb 17. So still, I'm recording this on Wednesday. So hopefully you're getting feedback in lots of time to be able to really you know spend some time with it figure out are there some overall strategies for revising that you really need to to uh, to pay attention to and then um, in addition to obviously integrating the source uh, really taking the opportunity to make those revisions to make the essay as strong as it can be I'm primarily looking like I said before a that you're not repeating mistakes so you really did revise but B obviously the use of that source remember that the source is integrated throughout. It becomes part of your essay. The only downside to writing an essay first and then as the second essay integrating the source is that people sometimes fall into the trap of already having a substantial essay done, finding the source, and then just plunking in a quotation sort of at the end of every paragraph or you know randomly like that. You really almost want it to feel like the source you're integrating is it was there from the start, right? It's like an organic part of the essay. Um, so be careful about how and where you use it so it's not too like mechanical or just sticking out like this thing that you did add on, even though obviously we are kind of adding it to a, an existing essay. All right, so if you have questions about your the feedback you're getting or anything doesn't seem like it's working correctly, be in touch with me. If you have questions about SA2, you want to clarify the source that you found, um, anything like that, now is the time to be in touch with me. So any questions, concerns, you know, I'm always here. Um, feels like I am always here sometimes. Um, but uh, otherwise, I'll check in with everybody, and I look forward to reading uh, essay number two.